Thank you very much, um, Speaker, and to you, Deputy President. I think you would agree with me that all the government programs that you've just outlined has been severely undermined by your government's decision to grant diplomatic immunity to Dr. Grace Mugabe, yeah. who has been alleged to have severely beaten up and injured a South African woman. Yes. And I would like to know from you, Honorable Deputy President, what type of government would stand on the side of an alleged abuser while denying justice to Ms. Engels? And I think as leader of government business, you pr must provide us some answers today and clarity on this decision. And maybe you can also indicate whether you support the decision to grant um, yeah. diplomatic immunity to Dr. Grace Mugabe and what you think this decision will actually do for our fight against gender-based violence in South Africa. Honorable Deputy. Uh -huh. Honorable Deputy President. Thank you very much. As I understand, the decision was taken in terms of the... Uh, internationally recognized immunity regulations which which uh, which regulations and conventions are understood and also well recognized at the UN level so that was the the instrument that was utilized for this purpose now clearly it it has it has its own uh, sub-regulations in terms of uh, its own efficacy. Now, it's the first time that we have utilized this type of convention, and a lot can be said on a pro and against it, and uh, in the end, there needs to be the clarity that there oh, is... Nah, members. The clarity that there is on this matter uh, is, is not full and complete, in the sense that, yes, in certain environments it is applied, in others it is not applied, so it happens to have been applied here in South Africa, and uh, our, our government and international uh, department uh, granted this immunity, which enabled uh, Mrs. Mugabe then to depart in the way that she departed. Thank you very much.